Hello and welcome to another video from me, Boots on the Ground UK. What is it about water running over rocks that makes you feel instantly relaxed? I never quite worked it out either, but one thing I do know is that when you catch a glimpse of these rather splendid waterfalls, you instantly forget about any workday stress. The poet Wordsworth was quite partial to Asgarth Falls, and as were his friends, the painters Ruskin and Turner, who dropped by on their travels back in the 19th century. The falls are divided up into three sections, spread over a mile or so, where the River Ur cuts through the heart of the Wensleydale Valley. There's a scenic little path that takes you along the river, so you can get a good look at all three. The falls are a product of the Ice Age, Several thousand years ago, great rivers of ice ground down inside the valleys, and nearby Bishopdale was ground deeper than Wensleydale, and the River Ur had to drop a good distance to meet up with it, and so the falls were formed. In Wensleydale, there are rocks that geologists call the Yordale Faces. Here, layers or beds of sandstone and shale are found sandwiched between beds of limestone. The sandstones and shale are less permeable than limestone, and so the River Ur can flow over and erode them. The limestone beds are harder than the sandstone and the shale, so these withstand erosion and form steps in the river's course, creating waterfalls. Eisgoth Falls is one of the more famous, and here the River Ur tumbles over three flights of small waterfalls. All three falls were featured in the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and nearby is St Andrew's Church, which is what is reputed to be the largest churchyard in England. Upper Falls, in quotes, the name originates from the Old Norse word and it means the open space in the oak trees. These woods are brilliant. I really like this when it's sort of shaded and you get the canopy above you. The river's over to my left, it's winding round. It's just, apart from that river, it's so damn peaceful here. Man, I love it. I needed this, you know. Any little thing at the minute is just stressing me out. The sat nav not working. <laughs> Went to find some, couldn't find it. <laughs> couldn't find the proper lead for the GoPro. <laughs> just everything frustrating me. I've got such a short temper. Week off work and with the weather here in the UK being absolutely terrible, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get away and go from it, so sitting out in the woods around a campfire is certainly time, I think, to clear your head and work things through. Sit on up to the main waterfall in the village and we'll have a cup of tea and a slice of, a slice of cake, I think. Why not? We're on a load. Well, I'm now full of, I was going to say cake and tea, I didn't actually have cake, I had a spud and a little traditional Yorkshire Dales ice cream. Now behind me is, is the main waterfall, but even when I look at it, it is blinding, so I know for a fact it's probably not going to come out very well on the camera. But behind me is part of Asgard Falls. Here we are, this is Middle Fall, and again, this is another waterfall, it's just absolutely stunning. I really wish I'd had the action cam in my hands about 20 seconds ago. An Apache helicopter just flew overhead. Now I've seen a few jet fighters zooming over the valley here in front of me. I don't know if there's any air bases around here, but that Apache was absolutely amazing. As it flew over, you could hear the <laughs> underneath you. So how these terrorists out in Afghanistan dump their undies when that flies over is unbelievable. It was dark green. <laughs> As you know, I love all the military gear. If another one flies over and I get the opportunity, what are the chances of filming an Apache out in the fields? But then I'll try and do it. That's made my day, that. Absolutely amazing.
Well, the waterfalls were amazing. A site, if you haven't been here before, somewhere you really should visit. Especially the amount of water coming down there is such a real power to it. So, as it's not that late in the day now, currently, it's only about quarter to four. We're going to head back and set up camp.